We're with Wimmerack.com, and I'm Allison. And I'm Andreas. And lately, we've been wondering what goes into the gear awards you've been hearing so much about. Like how much testing do they actually do? Right. And how do we know if the award's legit? So we went over to the American Alpine Institute to get the lowdown on their Guides Choice program. We were lucky enough to sit down with the guy that runs the program, Jeff Boyd. Check it out. My name is Jeff Boyd. I work at the American Alpine Institute in Bellingham, Washington. I am in charge of the Guides Choice program. The Guides Choice program is an evaluation of gear um, that's submitted by companies to the Institute, and we send the gear out with uh, guides to be tested over the course of a, a guiding season, uh, which is generally from March through uh, September or October. Um, and it's basically a way for us to intensively test gear in a short period of time, and then we relay that information that we get back from the testing to the general public and issue awards for gear that tends to be the top of its class or the best gear for the year. Started in the 80s. Um, an exact date in the 80s, we're not exactly sure. It kind of formed over a few years, I guess, at that time, but uh, it's it's been going on for about 30 years. The gear is tested in any condition or environment that we guide in. Uh, we guide in six different states and 16 different countries around the world. Uh, so everything from South America to Alaska, to the Alps, uh, to the Himalaya. We generally get gear from companies through their solicitations, so new products that come out, they'll tend to send them to us. Um, we also ask companies to donate gear, um, even if it's not a new item, we still are looking for you know, products that have been out for even a couple of years that are still the best product out there. Um, and we also just outright purchase products as well for our testing program. Most of the guides are doing the testing. Um, the guides are the ones that are actually giving us the feedback and the reviews. Um, but the guides are using the gear while working with clients. So occasionally clients do get to use some of the some of the products as well. If there's a lot of new products, there can be a lot of testing going on. But generally it's you know a dozen to two dozen products a year that we're actually evaluating. Some seasons we can have ten winners, other seasons we might only have five winners. Even if a product doesn't win a guide's choice award, uh, we still do like to promote it you know, through our blog, uh, through our website, uh, by making those reviews available to the public, uh, you know, in addition to the award winners also. Um, if we get gear that's, that's substandard, you know, we generally try to give constructive criticism back to the companies you know, for product development or purposes. And um, you know, a lot of companies actually do you know, take that to heart and sometimes they do make changes so we like to, to better gear, even if it's not quite the best thing yet. Um, you know, our goal is, is to help companies you know, design and engineer gear to be better. So I walked away from our time at the American Alpine Institute, super impressed with their testing program. Me too. But I found out that price is never a factor in their decision making. True. It's all about performance and durability. They test in more countries than we're likely to go to in a lifetime. Pretty much every climate, actually more countries than in states in the U.S. Another thing I really liked about their program is there's no set number of winners. So there could be zero winners in a category, or multiple. It all depends on how their testing goes. Right. Or a product can stay on the list for 10 years or more, as long as it stays best in its class. If you want to find out why each piece of gear won an award, check out our individual video reviews of most of the Guide Choice Award winners. Thanks for watching.